is going on guys Avram Jalu here and today it's a shootout commentary guys and uh, yeah it's a shootout I'm going to start a series from now on till NHL 20 and continuing from NHL 20 I'll always do that yeah guys where I talk about the NHL I choose teams who I'm talking about and today I'm going to choose the the 2018 2019 Stanley Cup champions the St. Louis Blues. So here are the Blues. Yeah, the Blues who defeated the Bruins in seven. You know, I'm going to talk about it. And honestly, uh, let's pick these. Nah, nah. These jerseys. Why not? So I'm going to talk about it, you know. So uh, what I'm seeing here, you know, it's. It's, it's a nice story for the St. Louis Blues. January 3rd, they're the worst team in the league. And then they they fired their coach in November. And then they replaced him by Craig Berry Bay. Greg Berry Bay. I think it's Craig. Yeah, it's Craig Berry Bay. And, uh, you know, they just have what a run, honestly. What a run. And they've played against better teams than them. You know, have you guys realized? Okay. Oh, okay. We have Tarasenko. Tarasenko was big. Bro. Let's try a simple move here. Uh, which I can't. What? Wait. What? What a game last night by, uh, by Bennington. You know? As we do a save here. Get out of here. Get out of here, Hyman. You know, what a, what a game by Bennington. Like, honestly, without him, the Blues wouldn't have won. But, you know. Well, it was pretty much the opposite from every team, you know. Like, for both teams. Boston had a easy playoff playoff run when they played against two wildcard teams. And the Toronto Maple Leafs. You know. What a flying pole check, by the way. And, yeah, they just... And this man, O'Reilly, bro. I just love this man. I just love this man, bro. This guy is literally... Like... What has he done, bro? What has he done? Like, honestly. And the Boston Bruins, yes, it was a... Uh, Shane who scored a big goal. Big goal last night. But, honestly... The Blues are actually so good, you know? Okay. That was a mistake by, by me. But the St. Louis Blues, uh, Jaden Schwartz, What? like how many hat-tricks has he had in, in these playoffs? That was sick, bro. And look, ne no one thought they were, like, they're the hottest team since since January 3rd like honestly like I'm gonna sit down and talk about it honestly the Blues are actually a really good team like if you look at the team they're actually a really good team you know like and yeah and I was and I thought they would be a good team you know like with what happened with the moves in the offseason the trade for O'Reilly like David Perron, who, who who comes back, signs literally all the contracts in his career. We're we're with the 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 St. Louis Blues, you know. Also, it's not the you know it's it's not the end of the. Not only it's the is not only it's the end of the waiting time for getting a first Stanley Cup in St. Louis, but it's also the end of. End of the time where they're really irrelevant. It's end of the time of them being irrelevant. You know? Because honestly, they've been good. They've been good. Yeah, like in the last years. Except for last year where they didn't make the playoffs. I don't know how. They were good. Good regular season team. But in the playoffs, they just couldn't come. They couldn't come strong. They would get leads. Blow them. Like, series leads were actually just a St. Louis Blues thing. And, yeah. And they... And this year, they were just... 
they're just a team that just made the playoffs. You know, like they they started off pretty bad, and they were like like they were the worst team in the league January first, and they managed to just get it in. You know, and yeah, honestly, it, that's how it is. You know, and I'm going to tell you why they're so good. And why I like where they're going. First of all, every every time they win, they don't have that same player who comes out strong. Like they don't have that kind of Crosby. You know, it's a either it's a team effort or just a player that like every game they have their be a best player. You know, they don't have a best player regularly. Like for example, Toronto with Matthews, Marner, Nylander, uh, Tavares. Happening, you know, so they have their best player either Biddington, either Shen, either it's a Bar Bar uh, Bar Barbashev, either it's Ar uh, Oscar Surinvist, either it's Tarasenko, either it's O'Reilly, the big man. You know, this is this is a great story. Also, Biddington, what a story, bro. And people saying Andrew, ha he's like Andrew Hammond 2.0. Sorry, he's not. Okay? Andrew Hammond just brought the Senators to the playoffs. But did he come strong in the playoffs? No, against Montreal. He literally... He got pulled... After two games. He only played two games. And we decided... Dave Cameron decided... No. You're not playing anymore. And probably one of the reasons why they lost the series against Montreal. But Montreal was also a good team. I'm going to give credit to them. Like, it's off topic. But Montreal was a good team. But... Like, look, I really like how St. Louis is going. One fact, Bennington is not, is not, he's absolutely not Andrew Hammond 2.0. Andrew Hammond was good for, for a little period of time. Bennington is not even, he's still a rookie. Okay, he hasn't played the whole year. Next year is going to be his rookie season. Honestly, I don't think he can even come from... A, from honestly, if I had to pick, I would give him the Calder. Like I'm sorry, Patterson. Like honestly, I don't really think Patterson. You know. You know. Well, honestly, I think it's going to be given to Patterson because of the season he had. Because apparently the playoffs don't really count. You know. You know, apparently they just have, like the season for trophy nominations, the season counts, not the playoffs. But honestly, and also, let's talk about O'Reilly, bro. This guy was very sad at, he was sad at Colorado, very sad at Buffalo. We ship him out, he actually comes big. Like the two factors of this win. Is O'Reilly and Bennington. If if Bennington wasn't wasn't hadn't played an incredible game, the Blues wouldn't win. You know, and if they haven't traded for O'Reilly, they wouldn't have went for that. They wouldn't have. You know, they wouldn't have went all the way through. You know, you, you, you know what I mean. So yeah, many factors, you know. So yeah, guys, I'll I'll wrap up the video here. Subscribe, uh, comment down below what you think about the St. Louis Blues. Subscribe if you're new. Click click the like button and push the bell to enable notifications. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Is it over? Looking for my next high. I'm looking for closure. Laying with me. Pop with me. Get high with me if you rock with me